Hi everyone, welcome to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise of Plan With Elise, and today we are planning in my dashboard happy planner for the week of June 13th through 19th. So I pulled out these purple Live Love Posh stickers, functionally chic purple blooms, and I came across these florals and I thought, there's the second page of them. Oh wait, are these different? I feel like they're a little bit different, but they're also really similar. I've used these before. I think I used these for a teacher layout spread, but they're so pretty. I want to, I want to use them again, right? What rule says that you can't use the same stickers more than once? So I'm just going to take this sticker and we are going to start by putting it, whoops. Well, it might just go there because that's where it wanted to stop. I didn't really mean to do that. Ah. Let's see. Okay. Oh, we're ripping, but it's gonna get covered up anyway. Oh my goodness. Okay. What not to do? That, that's what not to do. Remember the TV show, What Not to Wear? Like, what not to do? Okay, I am just gonna take this, put it right, oh my goodness. I can't get this down straight. I'm gonna leave it be. It's gonna be too difficult to try to peel up again. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. Ah, I love it. All right, let's go to the other ones that weren't exactly the same, but actually, now that I see them next to each other, they're much different. So we are going to backtrack and let's go over here to this corner. And we'll take this sticker and put it right over here. And I need my correction tape. And we're just gonna cover this up. Okay, that's pretty. All right now, let's go to some boxes. So when I look at the purples, I feel like this is probably the closest match. This is more of a lavender, but I feel like this is probably the closest match. So I'm going to take this, we'll put this one up here. This is gonna be like a really simple spread. I think that, especially with this layout where I really want it to be functional, sometimes just having some boxes and florals and checklists, oh my, um, just make it for functional and it's still decorative. I'm kind of losing my groove again a little bit when it comes to the dashboard. If you've been around for a minute, I sort of go in waves. So I think that when I'm feeling like I don't have my groove when it comes to decorating my planner, going with simple boxes and florals and quotes, I grab the black and white sticker book. Let's get a quote. Um, I know I used this last week in my dashboard, but we're gonna use it again. How about this? In every season, be grateful. Just trying to figure out exactly where I want this to go. Okay, I don't have a ton of room left over on that side, but it's all right. Um, so I think I was saying, if, if there's a time where I'm feeling like I'm a little bit out of my groove, going with the basics tends to get me back on track because I'm still planning, right? It may not be the most interesting or different spread, but it's still planning and there's a better chance of me using my planner if it's decorated. That's just, it's just a fact because I enjoy decorated planners. So, all right, let me, I need the back of this. Let me pull out my icons and my tweezers. So of course I always use the icons from Proud Sticker Designs and these here. You can save 20% using code Elise 20 on your order. So I'm going to use, I change up where I put them each week based on kind of like what's happening and what's coming up. So I am going to Texas at the end of the month um, for five days and what that means for me in terms of social media and plan with the least things is that 
that's five days that I won't be filming videos. So I'd still like videos to go up and I have plans for videos to go up, which means that I am in push mode for the next couple of weeks to get my videos prepared, photographed, thumbnails, and like all of the, all of the things. So I'm putting two filming icons up here. Um, those are going to be filming Instagram reels and filming YouTube videos. And then this is for Patreon. And then I'm going to take a planner sticker and this will be anything else that's planning related. And that's going to go there. Then I need the Instagram icons, but before I put those down, I want to decide what I'm going to do in terms of checklists or bullets on this side. So I think this one might only have bullets. Oh no, there are checklists, perfect. But they're going to be a little bit long for my needs. So what I wanna do is take my ruler and measure. So one and a quarter inches. Wait, was it one and a quarter? Let's try that again. It is one and a quarter, okay. So we are going to one and a quarter need pen. I'm going to mark that right there and then put my ruler down and get my knife that was just on my desk. Look around Elise, where did it go? Got it. And we are going to do seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just slice across. This way, I should have room, let's see if I did this right, to put both an icon and a legend, <laughs> put both an icon and a bullet down over here. Not a bullet, a checklist. It's a little bit too long, but we're going to leave it be because I like that that bullet's there. So. Uh, these Instagram icons are used for when I have uh, to for the photo that will correspond to the video that is going up that day. And then also, if I look at my calendar, I can't seem to find one right now. On Tuesday, it should be Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday night, I have a Zoom with patrons. This is going to be the second month that we're doing something a little bit different. So I always do two Zooms a month. One is a budgeting Zoom and one is like a plan with me or games or just kind of a hangout Zoom. This one is something that once I revamp my Patreon, it will be added as a tier. But for now, it's just, I need to move the sticker. It's bothering me. Um, for now, it's just something that I'm including and it's called a silent co-working session. So I actually got this from another, this idea from another creator of uh, Lakin. But we get on Zoom and work on something. So it's kind of a silent, it's not kind of, it's a silent session where I put on music and we just kind of chat in a, a little bit as it starts to talk about what we're going to work on. When we did it in May, I worked on my June budget a little bit to figure out what those numbers looked like before I actually filmed the video just because it was a new month for me in terms of um, a higher rent and different expenses and things like that. Other times when I participated in Zooms like this, I've cleaned my office. It's just one of those times where you're sitting with trusted friends on Zoom to work on something that maybe you've been delaying or just like a dedicated hour to work on a goal. So we have another one of those on Tuesday evening and I'm excited for it. Look at this a little bit. I'm trying to peel that is ripping like an actual hole in the page. I don't think I've ever put an actual hole in the planner. I've torn it a little bit, but not a, not a full on hole like that. I think the tweezers probably poked it. So I just want to move these and then we will be set. So I'm actually, now that I look at this, I'm not going to be able to really get anything done on, this is not working, on Saturday the 18th, I have my cousin's daughter's bat mitzvah, and that's going to 
be an all day thing. So I might not put a checklist there. I might put a box there and instead write like day off or something. Cause I'm trying to take more days off when it comes to plan with release. Today is, what's today's date? Today is Sunday, June 5th. And I'm working by filming videos because I don't necessarily have much else going on. I have my nephew's soccer game later. I went food shopping this morning. I've been cleaning my apartment. But like I said, with this trip coming up to Texas, I'm really going to want to make sure that I am spending any extra time getting my channel prepared. When I say extra time, so next weekend, I know that my nephew has his soccer playoffs and I also have um, a gender reveal for my friend's baby. And so I know it's going to be a busy weekend. So I'm not going to be able to film that Saturday. I'm not going to be able to film this Saturday. Today is Sunday. I may as well spend as much time as I can getting things done to make up for the days that I won't be able to. And I don't think that that only relates to people who make YouTube videos. I think that that's just a matter of getting ahead on things so that it feels a little bit better once other things are busy or spontaneous plans happen because I never want to miss out on my life because of filming YouTube videos. So I know that I've said that before and it might sound a little bit repetitive, but I'm more sharing with you how I kind of plan out my week and my content and my day while still also being able to read and go to as many of my nephew's sports games as possible and see my family and friends. And that's because on a day like today, when I don't necessarily have a ton planned or any social commitments besides soccer tonight, I am pushing, pushing, pushing on filming videos. I hope as I say that, that doesn't make this video sound rushed because it's not. I mean, this is a quick spread. There's not a ton of stickers here, but um, it's clean. It's simple. My dashboards, I think, are being kind of becoming very simple lately, but they're working for me. So that's a wrap. That's the end of my rant. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please like this video and subscribe and I will see you next time.